this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm actually more tired than the last video I did. I was about to go to bed but I looked at the news and apparently they have evacuated Re reactor 2 after readings hit 1 sievert per hour. They put down 1000 millisieverts per hour but 1000 millisieverts is 1 sievert so whatever. Anyway, I thought I might stop for a second to just quickly explain to people why that's a problem. What is a sievert? Well, a sievert, basically put, is one unit of effective dose. Or, sorry, equivalent dose. Yeah, I'm really tired. And, yeah, let me explain quickly what that means. Okay. You have what's called an absorbed dose. That's how much radiation you're being exposed to. It's measured in grays, usually. So... If I get blasted by one gray worth of radiation, that's one unit of it, one gray, then it will affect my body differently. Different parts of my body are more susceptible to it, uh, various parts, you know. So what they did was they came up with a multiplier. You take the number of grays, which is your absorbed dose, how much you're exposed to, and then you multiply it by kind of like a quality factor of sorts that tells you, okay, well, Maybe my hair doesn't do much of anything to it. But the follicles my hair right here does a lot to it. So, you know, maybe these will take a gray and multiply it by you know, four or five, but this might multiply it by nothing, like one. Meaning that this, my, uh, the actual dose that I receive to my follicles or, or my spleen, for example, which is relatively effective by radiation, or my bone marrow, whatever, could be higher than other parts of my body. You see what I mean? It's a, it's a quality factor. You, you multiply it to get the idea. Okay, so that produces something called the um, effective dose, which, uh, using old symbols and old systems and everything, you would take a rad, multiply it by the quality factor to come up with a rem, the Rinken equivalent man, which is, yeah, those old systems. And nowadays you take a gray and you multiply it by a quality factor to get a sievert. Okay, so that's what it means. This, a, a gray is how much radiation you get exposed to. A sievert is how much it does with respect to what it's hitting, because it does different things. Alright, so how much are they getting exposed to with one sievert? Well, sorry, I'm a little tired, so hopefully I get my math right. Right now in this room where I am, I'm getting between one, let's see, point one and 0.2 microsieverts. That's, um, God, I'm tired. Okay, a, a millisievert is, is a, a millisievert is a um, thousandth of a sievert. So, 0 0.001 is a millisievert. 0 0.000000, well, one too many zeros. And then a one is a microsievert, so that's a millionth of a sievert, okay? So I'm getting one ten millionths of a sievert in my room and to two tenths of a two ten millionths of a sievert. Okay, so there we go, that that makes sense. Okay. So in my room I am being exposed to every hour one ten millionth of one sievert. So one sievert divided by 10 million, that tiny little bit, it would take me 10 million hours in my room. 10 million hours to equal what I would get in one hour in the Fukushima Daiichi Reactor 2 control room. There you go. Actually, that, that puts it in a pretty good perspective, doesn't it? 10 million times. That's what they said on the BBC, by the way, too. I'm just telling you what it said on BBC. It said uh, one full micro sievert, uh, sorry, one full sievert. Not millisievert, which is a thousand, but one full sievert. One sievert. Remember, think of it like pounds. If I had something that, that was uh, 0 0.01 micro pound, then that would be one ten millionth of a pound. But if I had one pound, then it would be 
one pound, and one ten millionth of a pound is one ten millionth of a pound. So one ten millionth of a, of a sievert is one ten millionth of a sievert. I mean, I, I know I'm kind of being redundant, but you get the idea, okay? Now, if I got my math wrong with anything, it's like four in the morning here, I've had two beers, and I'm going to go to bed now. So nobody shoot me down if I'm off by a factor of, you know, a thousand or something, but I'm pretty sure that I'm correct. So anyway... Yeah. Oh, oh, just to let you know, in case you might find this interesting, ten, one ten millionth of a sievert um, is ten counts per minute on my Geiger counter. Twenty counts per minute is twenty millionths. One twenty millionth of a of a sievert. There we go. Does that make sense? So yeah, I guess. Anyhow. This is Tom from anti-protons.proton.com. Uh, I am incredibly tired. I am going to bed so I can sleep and be less stupid when I wake up in the morning. So, I'm here for you, etc.